Hello everybody, this is Caitlin Springer here with the Florida Orchestra and now we will be going through our A major two octave scale. Now just like with the G major scale, I want to make sure we get that shift practiced before we even start playing through scales. So this one I have us shifting on the A. So that is going to bring us into fourth position. Instead of playing our fourth finger on the D string to play our A, we're going to replace that when we get there with our first finger. So it's a little bit different than the G major scale where we're going into third position and replacing our third finger with our first finger. Now we're going to be replacing our fourth finger with our first finger. So it'll be very fun. So first what I want to do, I want to play the A major scale just the very first octave and I'm going to add my drone onto here. Alright, so here's our A and I'm just going to play through like slow quarter notes until we get to the G sharp. because it could drive you crazy. Um, but let's now go through the scale and see if we could aim exactly where we just practiced aiming. And let's see if we could aim that first finger on the A. I still just want to go from A to A. I don't want to go any farther yet. One, two, quarter notes, go. Mm -hmm. So now, what I want to do is just go through and walk through the fingerings again. Now this is exactly the same kind of hand frame positioning pattern as the G scale. So it's actually pretty simple once you're here. So here we have the A, whole step B, whole step C sharp, half step D, you're going to cross strings. This is going to be your E. So you're playing first finger on the A string, which is E. Uh, whole, whole note, F sharp. Whole step, G sharp. And half step on top, 
for that A again. And back down the same way we came. My hand frame's still kind of right there. E, D, C sharp, B, and A. If you really want to challenge yourself, you could try actually saying the name of the note while you're playing it. It's actually really, really tricky. So we have A, B, say it, C sharp, say it, D, cross over to E, F sharp, G sharp, and A, this is the hard part, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, and A. Whew, that's tricky, right? Saying your alphabet backwards from G sharp. Okay. Let's try this out. I'm going to throw my drone onto the A. And we're going to do the arpeggio too. And it's exactly the same idea as it is with the G one. So we're shifting onto the A. And it's going to be the same thing. Uh, so one, three, cross to one, four. Back down, four, one, three, one. Shift down to one. Great. Really check on your form with this one. It'll really help if your wrist is straight out and your pivot, your elbow is pivoted in a little bit. A major, slow quarters. And we're not going to stop. We're just going to go straight through. One, two, ready, go. challenge. I challenge you to say the name of every note while we're playing this scale. Good luck. One, two, ready, go. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F, G sharp, shift to A, B, C sharp, D, cross to E, F sharp, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, cross to D, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, shift, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, and A. Now try the arpeggio. A, C sharp, E, shift to A, C sharp. is a real mouthful. Wow. If you guys did that, I really am proud of you. Um, if it was really hard and you have to try again, keep trying. It's, it's something that kind of hurts your brain, but it, it's a little fun once you get used to it, maybe. All right. So now let's try this. Um, let's actually try this with a different bowing. Let's try it with a slur. So we'll still do quarter notes and we'll try to do it um, two to a bow. So it'll be down, up, down, up, shift. Because I want you guys to feel, even though you're, you're doing this in one bow, I want to make sure 
sure that you don't hear like one of those slurpy sounds. So challenge yourself to make as little sound, as little shifting sound as you can. It's really, really challenging. So I applaud you guys. One, two, ready, go. major two octave scale. Thank you guys for practicing it with me. I will see you next time.